the Forty or Tea podcast. There, there is like an aspect of being open, specifically about mental health or, or even autism, for a fact, around um, being a man. Um, and I, I know that it's not mental health isn't something that's you know, but I think more women on average experience mental health difficulties than men, but. I think there's a lot of I don't believe that, you know. To... I really just I don't believe that that I don't believe that that women you know deal with mental health more than men because there's not really a stigma behind you know women and mental health or at least not to my knowledge. And mm-hmm. they don't, you know, you know, I'm I'm not going to be eat stereotyping or anything but yeah no i just i don't i don't see how that could be the case because there are Mm. so many men that still won't today that you know we talk about people being naive and just just underreported yeah yeah it's 100 percent underreported and people aren't talking about it because their image is more important than what's going on inside Mm. you know what i mean and so yeah, I don't believe that for for a minute. That I don't. I don't think there should but be the, any. I, think, com- I, think I don't think very... there should be any comparison. To be honest, but I, I I do think that people need to start being more alert and being more aware about the fact that you know, at least we're we're in the twenty first century. You know, why is there still a mm. stigma between men and mental health? It's just. It's just. It doesn't fit. You know, <laughs> why do you think that stigma is? Do you think it's? It, I, th- I think we are still in. You know, this 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 wall is con- it's 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 evolving into into things that nobody really thought, but them traditional. You know, some of them traditional opinions and them views are still around, and I mean, I, I think it's. I don't want to be cool to say it's a specific generation but i do think that you know, i do think that that's a thing i think you know people that you know have had more experience that think men should be manly and you know i think there's just so much of that naivety around you know hmm. and i, I think, think definitely like you know, the, the, there are a lot of core sort of values that we talk about with with men that I, you know, empathize with a lot and I think could be useful to a lot of men. But I do think that there is a, that I've, you know, for I've, I've been kind of thinking about it a lot recently and there's there's two sort of aspects to to sort of my experiences being, being a man and having mental health. One is you get these... Um, overly like extroverted you know very insecure men who feel like um any any sign of weakness or any sign of emotion or anything like that that kind of toxic masculinity kind of thing some men can be like that and i have had a lot of people sort of throughout my life who have had that mentality and kind of made fun of me for you know having mental illness and not being able to get over it or taking antidepressants or, you know, perhaps not being as confident or strong in, in their oh, eyes yeah. as they see it, or, or even just making fun of me for, for sharing things and being vulnerable. Oh yeah. Well, but there's, I mean... there's another aspect of it as well that people, um, and this goes for both men and women, people kind of assume that because of the way that you look like, you know, I'm I'm six three, and you know I'm fairly big, and it's um people kind of overlook it when I when I tell them that I'm struggling because they see me oh, as yeah, in my physicality, yeah. and I just and I it don't happens think to everybody, of... not not even yeah. men and women. Yeah, you know, it does, or, or anything between. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know that there are some other life experiences that I think a majority of men might experience that 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 perhaps women won't experience as much which could be things like conflicts like um 
you know, you're more likely to be victim of a, a crime if you're a man. Um, you're also more likely to go to war <laughs> and experience like the front lines and, you know, come yeah. back with a lot of See that traditional, like, yeah, this is what I mean about, we talk earlier about, you know, traditional, you know, like, it's, uh, I think some women, uh, you know, women today would be annoyed if they didn't have the opportunity to fight for their country. And then we come back Mm. to these, you know, traditional, it's, it's men on the front line, you know, like men should be big, brave and no, no, just no, because it's all right not to be all right and that is literally it in it i just can't mm. i don't think there's any other explanation it's just okay not to be okay it's, it's all right to say i do struggle hey up youtube hope you have enjoyed this podcast clip so far and if you have why not check out the full episode which you can find on my youtube channel or on other streaming services like google apple Um, Spotify, you can find it pretty much anywhere you want to. If you have enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment down below, even if it's something simple like sending me a heart or an emoji, it really, really does help me with the algorithm. All of my links to my socials, like my daily Instagram blog posts, are down in the description. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of this clip. You know, it's okay to say I need a bit of support. And I think, I mean, even for me, I mean, sometimes, I, I, I mean... I struggle to ask for help, not because I can't ask them, but because sometimes I always just don't want that help. I want to be able to manage it. I want to be able to cope, you know? Mm. But I know how you feel. Yeah. I think there's there's another aspect of, <clears throat> you know, modern day living that I think is quite hard to overcome. It's kind of a bit bit of a stigma is that, we we very much place like this idea that you know men are not as emotional as women and that they they, they don't feel oh, things yeah, as deeply. I can, or can... I can vouch and fully say that I guarantee you I'm emotional more than <laughs> any woman on this planet, and I think anybody that's listening <laughs> that knows me will also agree. I mean, I can't I can't already count how many times I've cried since yesterday. Like I'm an emotional person. I mean, what is it, yeah, with saying you're not allowed to to show emotion, you're a man? As far as I'm aware, a man means that you are born with these parts. I still have these parts, you know? I'm still a man. Mm. It's okay not to be okay. And, yeah, man. Or identify as being a man. Or, you know, yeah, literally that. And it's like... I just think people really need to just, I'm so positive. I try to be positive and I try to be hopeful for the the future and for people that are a lot more vulnerable. You I have just, to be. For, you have to with be. With mental health, it, don't you? You have to like be positive. You, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I don't, I, I, I'm always just like, at, at times I'm like, this is just impossible. This is not going to change, and and it's that where there needs to be more support available to people. I mean, waiting lists are so long; people are dying. Yeah. It's not good, and it. It's, so it we have very high rates of mental health within the autistic community, and we don't have a lot of support for it. Nope. It really is it quite sad? often even if you do get support it's it tends not to be very effective no and you tend not to at be, all. you, you almost know, have difficult kind situations of with the rebelled. mental health systems yeah, yeah yeah i think that um, that aspect of you know men being emotional just being absolute it's absolutely ridiculous because being emotional isn't a masculine or feminine trait it's, it's not a human no. trait exactly you know yeah like we wouldn't do it if if you know we wasn't made to do them things like we would we wouldn't we wouldn't show these emotions it really angers me like that it's, we it's have crazy to thinking and, about yeah, like we have to men and their kids and like do they not feel mm-hmm. emotion towards their kids and like <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, like, you know, love yeah. their partners. It's yeah, it's so you know, I've I've been around tutors that are males that I broke down and cried in front of because I've been really upset by something that said, and they've just not gave a care in the world, and mm. it's that that just you I, to. To even think that we are having this conversation annoys me. Doesn't annoy me because mm. it's a conversation that should be having. It's just a com. Do you know? It's it's it shouldn't even be a topic. the reason for why you know, we're, we're having. It to shouldn't talk even about be a topic. Yeah. I mean, the world's evolving, man, and this just yeah, <laughs> it really does. It really, it really annoys me because. I say I need to recognize when I've made an achievement and be proud of that and to mm. even be dealing with mental health you know that's a, that, that's, that's an achievement I should be you know mocked because mm. I'm a male that is going through a, a, a hard time you know mm. I just you don't sit right don't sit right I think I mean you know that the, there are aspects to, to to masculinity that I I find you know applied to me, and I think everyone has their own sort of definitions about what that means. But I I do think that you know for a lot of for a lot of men we do give ourselves a hard time for having these emotions rather than accepting them, and I don't think that ignoring them and knowing that they're there but ignoring them and pushing them to the side and developing mechanisms to get around it and not talking about it and not being open and, and communicating about it. I don't see that as like a, a sign of strength or a sign of masculinity because it's it's running away from something. If you're struggling with mental health, if you're struggling with depression, saying that you're depressed and that you have these experiences and have these thoughts and emotions I think it takes much more courage to way talk more about them courage, one hundred percent. Pushing them to the side. There's not enough praise for being like, you know. I'm very, I'm such an open person. If I think something, mm. I say it a lot of the time without thinking. <laughs> but yeah, man, we really just that need to. Yeah, of that's the ADHD <laughs> side of things mentally. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just like. Be, yeah, literally what you said. I couldn't say. I couldn't say it better. It's just, just acknowledging that that took strength to say, acknowledging that that hurt mm. to say, but then, then realizing, you know, that it's again okay just to not be alright. 